now in 2015 many people voted the apc because they thought buari who was the president during the military era and was then incorruptible as a military head of state was the same buari in civilian attire unknown to nigerians that the buari they once knew is gone when buari took office in 2015 the cabals hijacked his administration and showed him how to loot nigerian now buhari has vowed to pay back to the one who made him president and that is bola ahmed tinumbu the nigerian people rejected tinumbu and apc but trust tinumbu he maneuvered his way into power by paying the INEC and the judiciary. And recently, Tinumbu invited the Northern elders and other traditional rulers to Asso Rock amidst the nationwide protest that is about to take place by August 1st. He told them that he bought the presidency with his money and that he need no counsel from any of them. And this made the Northern elders angry. See the paper. Now, a lot of Nigerians, especially the youth in the north, are not taking this lightly. And that is one of the reasons why we think this might lead to a revolution. Now, this is Body Thomas. There was a massive robbery in form of protest where a lot of shops were looted offices scattered and a lot of properties what's millions of nairas were scattered away and i tell you one thing the revolution has started because nigerians are hungry and at the same time they are hungry when you do not engage the youth the youth will tend to engage themselves and this is the result of the youth engaging themselves into something that people wouldn't like to see and that is the reason why we told Nigerians that this APC government it's not the right government but Nigerians have refused to hear not all Nigerians I'm sorry to say this a lot of Nigerians knew firsthand what will happen in future and people like T.B. Joshua has predicted this revolution once. Before I allow you to see that video, let's take some tweets. This person says, She unadi hera. If this is true, this means Tinumbu has confessed to committing treason. I hope the senator can investigate and begin impeachment proceedings. Their investigation should start with how IREF was switched off. They will not do anything. Because 
Tinumbu did not only buy his way into power, he bought the judiciary, the security agencies, including all the senators. This next person said, slowly but surely, the criminality committed against Obi in the 2023 election will come to light. No worm. I believe you, my brother. It has already come to light. Tinumbu has confessed to the Northern elders and to traditional rulers. And this next person said, this is a blow to the faces of those Abadurians who in the last one year defended, stood on the mandate of their lord and personal thief. You couldn't make this up. <laughs> I believe you exactly. This is the truth and nothing but the truth. And this next person said, you see why he's not interested in governance, but recouping every penny spent in the last election. Oh, this was exactly what I said. He bought his way with his money. What do you expect him to do? He has to recoup his money first before he thinks about we Nigerians. Now, listening to what T.B. Joshua said concerning this revolution, and when we come back, we will wrap this up. So, God showed me this vision, not sitting down writing an article. This is not press conference. This is a vision I saw carry your youth along. I'm seeing a revolution. When I say revolution, I mean every revolution starts by protest. When it starts by protest, at that protest, the power can stop them. They have the ability to stop them. But when it becomes revolution, no one can stop revolution. Revolution means everyone is ready to go for it. I repeat again. I'm seeing what? A revolution. I'm seeing people taken to the streets. At the beginning of that protest, instead of revolution, I said protest is a parable. Yeah, because when it started, you think it's a protest. But at the end of the day, you realize that this is a revolution. You can stop protest, but you cannot stop revolution. You know, every revolution starts by protest. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. It will come, people carry planka. Hey, 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 hey. You say, ah, this protest. You carry police, you carry everything, you stop them. But when it becomes revolution, everybody are ready to die. So you can't stop it. At the beginning of that protest, I call it beginning because at the beginning of every revolution, it looked like protest. It might be stopped at the beginning. Eventually, it will become so big that it cannot be stopped. This I see happen. Now, T.B. Joshua made this July 2013 before he passed away. But it is obvious that our leaders are not carrying the youth along and that is the reason why a lot of people have decided that revolution is now or never but until we realize that we need somebody in power like his excellency former Anambra state governor mr peter obi who is willing to take nigerians from consumption to production then we have not gotten it right this is the only time nigerians has to decide and i tell you we should please shun every bigotry or tribalism 
amongst ourselves. Come together and push this APC out of power and bring in somebody that can take Nigeria again from consumption to production. Because it is obvious that what this government is doing, they, they are only sharing palliative to people. And how long will that palliative last? Nigerians, it is time to take our country back from this cabals. Thanks for watching.